Hey everybody, welcome to Dragon Age Inquisition from the beginning. We have to reach the Empress before Corypheus. The only question is, how? We know how. I have our way in. The real question is, where is our enemy hiding? At the urging of Grand Duchess Florian, the Empress is holding a ball. Absolutely everyone will be there. During the festivities, Celine will be meeting for peace talks with the usurper Duke Gaspard and Ambassador Briala. The assassin must be hiding within one of these factions. Well, hmm, let's investigate a little more. What do you think? What do we know about Duke Gaspard, the man who would have been emperor? He's Celine's cousin and was first in line to inherit the throne when Emperor Florian died. Celine outmaneuvered him. She won over the Council of Heralds, who hold authority over title disputes. She became Empress, and he a general in the Imperial Army. He's well loved by the troops. He's also a Chevalier. Most of their numbers sided with him when he turned on the Empress. Aren't the Chevaliers part of the army? Why would they follow the Duke? Most Chevaliers are sworn to serve the Crown, but that does not give them faith in the person wearing it. The Empress has tried to improve relations with Ferelden and Navarra, the Chevaliers see her as anti-military. They and for good reason. Gaspard could lead the Empire back to the glory of Draken's expansion years. Um. Who is this Ambassador Briala? An ambassador in name only. She has organized the elves of Halam Sheral into an underground army. The Empress invited her to the peace talks in a bid to gain the elves' alliance in the war. That would be scandal enough. Without the rumor that Briella is a jilted lover of Celine's. A personal grudge and a network of saboteurs at her command. <laughs> Promising lead. Wait. The elven leader is a jilted lover of the Empress. It's not widely known. Just a rumor whispered among the palace servants a few years ago. If it's true and where to get out. The Empress and an elf. <laughs> the scandal could destroy Celine's court. Even if a lie. Briella could use it to blackmail the Empress. She has some connection to the throne. This one I'm not worried about dying because it's uh Tell me everything we know about difficult. Let's just Empress say that. But it's not that kind of difficult. She works tirelessly to secure peace for the Empire. Unfortunately, many Orlesians view peace as complacency. She has yet to name an heir, leaving the future of the Empire in doubt if anything happens to her. Especially when the next in line is her cousin Gaspard, who's made few friends on the Council of Heralds. Celine is surrounded at all times by countless guards, courtiers, servants, and vassals. What better place for an assassin to hide than the Empress's own household? How can Gaspard still be next in line while he wages war against his Empress? The title Grand Duke indicates that he was a prince before the Empress took the throne. And why can't we, we just send a warning? The, the Empress must have personal guards. We could just warn her she's in danger. We've made the attempt, but... It seems that our messages never reached her. Someone intercepted them. It's better that we don't leave this to chance. If Orlais falls to Corypheus, no land is safe. I'm glad to know I'm spelling Corypheus right. <laughs> Let's go to the Winter Palace. Oh, there goes 30 power. The political situation in Halam Shiral hangs by a thread. The Empress fears our presence in the Senate. The Grand Duke is only too happy to have us at the ball as his guests, so our invitation comes from him. Whether we act as his allies or upset the balance of power, he gains an opportunity, if not a clear advantage. I think I'm going to side with him this time. It is a great pleasure to meet you, Inquisitor Lavellen. The rumors coming out of the Western Approach say you battled an army of demons. Imagine what the Inquisition could accomplish with the full support of the rightful Emperor of Orlais. Which one was the rightful one again? I keep getting them confused. If we keep watch, he may appear, probably by the brandy. Hey, I like I'm to drink too. Who forgets his friends, Inquisitor? You help me, I'll help you. 
prepared to shock the assembly by appearing as the guest of a hateful usurper, my lord. They will be telling stories of this into the next age. I can't imagine that crowd has seen anything better than us in their entire lives. I knew we would get along famously, Inquisitor. As a friend, perhaps there is a matter you could undertake this evening. This elven woman, Briara, I suspect that she intends to disrupt the negotiations. My people have found these ambassadors all over the fortifications. Sabotage seems the least of their crimes. I'm glad to hear someone's finally following me. Thank you. <laughs> um, C. Some GTA tonight would be great. I'll deal with the elves. Siding with the enemy. I'll put an end to it. Be as discreet as possible. I detest the game, but if we do not play it well, our enemies will make us look like villains. We're keeping the court waiting, Inquisitor. Shall we? Inquisitor, a moment, if you please. Of course, you I want a moment of my time. Go inside. How you speak to the court is a matter of life and death. It is no simple matter of etiquette and protocol. Every word, every gesture is measured and evaluated for weakness. Don't they sound delightful? I'm shocked we haven't invited the court to dinner at Skyhold. The game is like wicked grace played to the death. You must never reveal your cards. When you meet the Empress, the eyes of the entire court will be upon you. You are safer in the Fade with the Fear Demon. You're just full of joy and light this evening. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. All right, here we are. The Inquisition back in Gaspar would make Celine nervous. You know how private she is. Seriously, did you get a look at the steps? I think they're gilded. The sooner we go in, the sooner we can get this over with. It will take some time to get our men into the palace. I'll alert you when we're ready. Well, all right. I heard the Grand Duke invited I had hoped the to tour the Royal Wing Gardens again. I have heard they are the finest in the Empire. But such a pity the Wing is sealed. How could the Empress afford to renovate the palace without war going? Orzammar favor in the negotiations tonight. King Edukun has put considerable coin behind the Empress in hopes the trade in foodstuffs will resume quickly. Hmm. Well, dwarves like to put their coin behind something stupid, I'm sure. Alright, so we've seen all that crap. Let's go over here. I don't see any places for me to sit and eavesdrop. Oh, here we go. Just gossip. Damn it. <laughs> Any more than gossip, we need some blackmail. Uh, how can you not call it a vestibule? <laughs> or a foyer, I mean... Rich people can afford so much. <laughs> Mom, blackmail. I had no idea. All right. So we're up to two. Oh, another one. Come on, three. I'm so good at no listening. <laughs> Apparently, if I just stand there. And stare right at the people I'm listening to. Sorry. Had to finish my thought. Um, doesn't matter. 
Um, hey, is this a door I can go in? Oh. <sighs> Alright, so I've gotten two so far. Or three so far. About 10%. Sure, let's go have a drink. What happened to the brandy? <laughs> and now presenting Grand Duke Gaspard de Chalon and accompanying him Lord Inquisitor Lavellon. Oh, I can bow. They should be Champions bowing to me. Of the wayward order of Templars, purge of the heretics from the ranks of the faithful. Limit his smile. This is the show, my dear. Champion of the blessed Andraste herself. <laughs> Did you see their faces? Presence. All right. the Inquisitor, Seeker, Cassandra, Allegra, Portia. Calogera, Philomena. Get on with it. Pantagast, 14th cousin to the King of Navarra, nine times removed. Hero of Orlais, right hand of the divine. Madame Vivienne, first enchanter of the Circle of Magi, enchanter of the Imperial Court, mistress of the Duke of Gislaine, renowned author, Tharic Thethrys. That's right. I know an author. Cousin, my dear sister. Grand Duke, we are always honored when your presence graces our court. Don't waste my time with pleasantries, Celine. We have business to conclude. We will meet for the negotiations after we have seen to our other guests. Inquisitor? Bye, Inquisitor. Inquisitor. We welcome you to the Winter Palace. Allow us to present our cousin, the Grand Duchess of Leeds, without whom this gathering would never have been possible. What an unexpected pleasure. I was not aware the Inquisition would be part of our festivities. We will certainly speak later, Inquisitor. Oh, Your absolutely. Your is like a cool wind on a summer's day. Let's hope the breeze does not herald an oncoming storm. Even the wisest mistake fair winds for foul. We are at the mercy of the skies, Inquisitor. How do you find Halam Chiral? I have no words to suffice. Halam Chiral has many beauties, and I couldn't do them justice. Your modesty does you credit, and speaks well for the Inquisition. Feel free to enjoy the pleasures of the ballroom, Inquisitor. We look forward to watching you dance. Oh crap. <laughs> Gonna get an audience. Inquisitor, a word when you have a moment. Alright, my court approval's up. Where is everybody? So, it looks like Josephine's here. Inquisitor, please allow me to present to you my younger sister, Yvette Gabriella Montillier. A pleasure. Delighted to meet you, Lady Montillier. <laughs> Inquisitor, I've heard so much about you, but not as much as I want. Whoa. Josephine writes, but she never tells me anything. Is it true you found the Red Templars sacrificing heretics and drinking blood from mages' veins? Yvette, everyone in Antipa City is saying so. Is it true? Fine. <laughs> it was awful. Mage bones everywhere. Practically a carpet of skulls over a river of blood. Yeah. How awful. <sighs> <laughs> I'm not going to investigate, but that was funny. Josephine's uncomfortable. <laughs> 
All right, so let's see. Ooh, can I open this? Ooh, here we go. I wonder if this is blackmailable. Damn it. <laughs> when I said I wonder, I meant I wonder for serious, bro. <laughs> oh, wait. There's someone over here. Who did I miss? Oh, they're on the other side of the vestibule. I don't feel like opening that just yet. Vivian? And here we are. You haven't embarrassed yourself as much as I feared. Well done, my dear. Be ready to act when I give the signal. Always, my dear. Always, my dear. Laurent was the lo Perhaps we can speak later, Inquisitor. It's always later with you. <laughs> Every time you talk to her, she's like, nah, talk to me later. <laughs> something the sooner we track down this infiltrator the better have you noticed anything out of the ordinary not yet it would be easier if people would stop talking to me other people not you we'll all right later I await your see. Uh, I had three what the shit Sat here. Usually, I think this is where I meet Gaspard later. <laughs> Come on. Alright, this is one of those ones where it's going to take a while for me to finish, so... Alright, so this is stupid. There's Josephine again. This is the one and only Inquisitor. Sort of. There's been others, but still. Dowager. Vivian. You're in my way! <laughs> The ambassador is up to something, but she can't be our focus. The best place to strike at Céline is from her side. Empress Céline is fascinated by mysticism. Foreseeing the future, speaking with the dead, that sort of rubbish. She has an occult advisor. An apostate who charmed the Empress and key members of the court as if by magic. I've had dealings with her in the past. She is ruthless and capable of anything. You think she's controlling the minds of the court? That's powerful blood magic. She's worth investigating. Can't be sure of anything here. Both leads point toward the guest wing. It's a promising place to start. I'll coordinate with our spies to see if I can find anything better. I will be in the ballroom if you need me. Sounds good. See you later, Liliana. Alright. See if I can find any more uh, stuff that people are saying. So far, no, though. Since it looks like I now have zero. <laughs> Apparently, he doesn't want to talk to me. This ball is a waste of time. Like all Orlesian foolishness. Let's find the Venatori collaborator and get out of here. Stay alert. We don't know where the enemy is hiding. I'll be watching for trouble. The sooner we leave this place, the better. Philippe should have returned hours ago, dallying with some serving girl while I deal with Gaspar's vitriol. I can't imagine Gaspard being vitriolic. What's the matter? The Grand Duke bears a grudge against the Council for refusing him the crown. He's threatened death if they refuse him again, collectively and individually, along with their vassals. What? 
Ah. Shut your mouth. Ah, I'm back down to 30. This is stupid. <laughs> my lord. My lord Inquisitor. May we have a word? It is very important. The Empress has sent us with a message for you. Funny that she couldn't give me this message when we spoke. Oh, she could not speak freely in front of the entire court, Inquisitor. Empress Celine is eager to assist the Herald of Andraste in his holy endeavor. She will pledge her full support to the Inquisition as soon as the usurper Gaspar is defeated. It's a generous offer. The Empress believes wholeheartedly that the Inquisition is our best hope for peace in these difficult times. She looks forward to cementing a formal alliance. As soon as Gaspar is out of the way. But we have taken enough of your time. Please, enjoy the masquerade, Inquisitor. <sighs> I wish I could make up that 15, man. I gotta be quick. Here we go. The longer I'm up here, the more approval I'll lose. Okay, so, first over here. I know, I know. Okay, here we go. Here's a book. That did something. Oh god. Florian. Alright, so we've got that one. Oh, no! I need to be a rogue to get in there. That's some shit, dude. Alright, so... Fucking balls. Oh. All the way back. Go all the way back. What the hell? Oh, look at that! I didn't know I could do that. That is good to know. I can go in and out now, right? Alright, here we go. There's another clue. All right, so we're doing good. We're doing good. Oh, that's the Hall of Heroes, I think. Fuck, I need my rogue with me. Ah, I got another Hall of Statue. Wait, there's, uh, something over here. Getting some frickin' secrets right now, brah. I hate when people say that, and yet I say it. It's so stupid. <laughs> okay, nothing over here. <sighs> Lost five approval. Apparently I have enough hollow statues. There's not anything else I need to investigate in here? Oh my god, okay. Alright, so I climbed up here. Let's head this way. I know there's something else to be done in here. Oh, see? I almost forgot this part. I've only lost seven. I've only lost seven. I don't know why I didn't take that. 
You should stop it. I'm not ready to go back. There's other shit to do over here. Okay, it's not that one. It's not that one. Okay, blue is good. Nope. Alright, so this is first. This one? Damn it. Okay. This one. This one? Nope. There's so many different possibilities here. Alright, so it's gotta be this one, that one. My court approval just went up. You? Alright, so get these three. Maybe here? Alright, there it is. Loot. Loot. Come on. Loot. Now I'm just playing late. Ah oh, hell, I just lost twenty. That's stupid. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I just lost twenty. I'm not going to be late. <laughs> Move, stupid. <laughs> well, I'm glad I had 50 to begin with. I don't think I'm going to make it this time. Ah. Okay, so second bell's okay, but then you got to get back down so you can get there by third. And Morgan. Leader of the new Inquisition, fabled herald of the faith. Delivered from the grass <sighs> by the hand of Blessed Can't believe I missed that. Herself. What could bring such an exalted creature here to the Imperial Court, I wonder? Do even you know? We may never know. Courtly intrigues and all that. Such intrigues obscure much, but not all. I am Morrigan. Some call me advisor to Empress Selene on matters of the arcane. Can still you make it up. have been very busy this evening, hunting in every dark corner of the palace. Perhaps you and I hunt the same prey. I don't know, do we? <laughs> you are being coy. I'm being careful. Not unwise, here of all places. Allow me to speak first, then. Recently I found and killed an unwelcome guest within these very halls. An agent of Tevinter. So I offer you this, Inquisitor. A key found on the Tevinter's body. Where it leads, I cannot say. Yet, if Selene is in danger, I cannot leave her side long enough to search. You can. Briala's people are whispering about disappearances in the servants' quarters. This key may lead there. The ambassador does have eyes and ears everywhere, does she not? Proceed with caution, Inquisitor. Enemies abound, and not all of them aligned with what comes next will be most exciting. 